our short step split squat. Um, first, we're gonna find the distancing for our feet. So, when I go down, I want my knee to roughly be in alignment with my heel. So, and then I'm gonna go up and down, up and down. The main thing is full range of motion. So, the front leg is going to feel a lot of the work, especially the quads. Go unweighted until you can do a full range of motion. If you feel like this is hard, just that body weight, and getting your knee all the way to the ground, as long as, assuming your knees aren't injured or, or have some kind of pain, um, this is the first step. Body weight, no, at full range of motion. If that's not happening, maybe you're not strong enough, you can use something like a yoga block, put it under the back knee like this, so that now we can limit the range of motion, go up and down. And then um, once body weight is pretty easy for you, grab, you can load this with a weight in each hand, you can put it in the goblet position, or you can have uh, a dumbbell in each front rack position, however you want to mix it up, or whatever the workout holds for. So a couple good reps would be here, push through this full foot. A lot of your weight is going to be on the ball of this front foot. So big inhale, up and down. And the other thing too is my, my upper body is staying nice and straight. So for this one, we're not leaning forward at all. That'll take away from the quads. I want to get into the quads a little bit. So we're here, and then we're going to go up, straight down, up, 